Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, I wanted to make this video to kind of showcase how to combine animations in Unity. And what I mean by combining animations is essentially putting two animations together. For example, one upper one half animation and lower half animation. Putting them two together to make kind of one animation. And examples of this are where you want to walk and aim at the same time. Or if you want to walk and attack at the same time. And these are and various other examples uh, that people may be using them for. Uh, in my case, I've got a game that I'm trying to make, a, a small game that I, want, that I plan to release in the future, and it makes use of the Kenny assets. So as you can see in the scene here, I've got this little soldier here. And essentially what I want to happen is for when he's running around, so as it loads now, so that when he runs around, uh, I want him to be able to attack at the same time. So at the moment when I click attack, he kind of stops running and he does his attack and then he starts running again, which is a bit not it's not a desired thing to have, it's not it's not pleasing on the eye and it's essentially not not what I want for the game. So what I really do want is he still do the walking animation for the lower half of his body, but then still swing his arm for an attack on the upper half of his body. Now how we can achieve that is through using the Unity Layer and Avatar Mask features so that I can put together an Avatar Mask to kind of uh, disregard some portions of the animations and blend them together to make them essentially seem like it's all one animation. So to get started I just want to show you what I've got in my project at the moment so for people that are still starting off and, and listening to be able to see and it help them is I essentially just have my model so it's the character soldier that I've got from the Kenny asset pack which is here I've got my animations which I've taken from the models I've got my animator controller which I created and then I've also got my script here which is the controller script now what the controller script does is it essentially just moves um, using the input system so it takes the input axis for example on vertical to kind of get a direction and then I use these to kind of move the player around the scene um, I've also got the animator and I've set the boolean for an animator so if it's moving um, then it'll do the moving animation or if I set the trigger to attack it'll do the attack animation and that's just done on the left click down. So this is just a simple script that I created to kind of showcase to you guys what I'm kind of doing and what I'm explaining. So it's very simple, it's very straightforward just to move and to do the attack animation. Uh, in the animated controller itself, I've just got these three different animations working together. So um, I'm transitioning to each other, so I've got the idle, tra idle state transitioning to the sprint state sprint state transition back and that's just dependent on the condition so if it's moving it sets to trigger sprints if it's not it goes back to idle or if the trigger is set to attack it goes to the attack animation now that we've kind of got the things in the project out of the way i want to move on to actually how to combine these two animations the attack animation and the sprint animation to make it more pleasant um, and, and pleasing to the eye when you see the animations happening so that when he's walking he can attack at the same time which is a desired effect that I wanted for my game and to do so uh, you want to start off by creating a new layer so I'll call this upper layer and this upper layer will essentially be the animations for the upper half of the body and then I'll use the base layer for the lower half of the body next you want to create a avatar mask and the avatar mask is what's used to kind of disregard some portions of some portions of the animation uh, for example if you don't want the animation to include the legs being animated or the arm being animated or the torso being animated you can kind of do that with the avatar mask so I'll just create one here I'll just create this upper mask and when you create the upper mask you kind of want to click this drop down humanoid and you've got, you've got this humanoid image over here and what you want to do is essentially click the parts of the humanoid that you don't want to include in your animation. So in my case with the attack animation, I just want to include the upper half 
of the um, humoid. So I don't want to include the legs because that will be derived from the base layer, which is where the walking animation is. Um, I won't include the torso uh, just in case. So when he's walking, maybe he uses the torso a bit more to kind of add a bit of an effect in there. But I'll keep the heads and the arms because that's where the swinging happens. Um, so when you when you attack, it kind of swings his right hand. So I'll just keep those in there. So now that we've created our upper mask, as you can see it's here, we want to be able to include this into our animator and the upper layer. And what you want to do is click this cog here, which will open this, and you want to include the mask. So yeah, put it in the upper mask here. And the important part here is the next two steps, where you want to put the weight to 1 and the blending to additive. So this kind of adds the animation on top of the animation that are currently playing. And because it's additive, it will just use the mask layer and with the weighting, so because the weighting is 1, it will use the upper half animation um, and replace that with the base layer animation that's happening. Now what we want to do is to create an empty state. So this state is where nothing is happening in this layer. And then we want to add the attack um, animation state. We want to make the transition. Set our trigger here. Do attack. Exit time to zero. Because we want to immediately attack when we click our left click button. And then we'll make the transition back to the empty state. So when the attack is over. Uh, we want to just go back to the regular um, empty state because we have no other animations to be we don't want any more animations to be playing once the attack is done for the upper half of the body and we want the base layer to kind of take over from there now we'll go back to the base layer um, try, we move the attack animation to the upper layer so we don't need this here anymore so we'll just delete that now we've just got the idle and the sprint animation in the base layer here and then we've got the attack animation in this upper layer over here with this empty state. Okay, now that we've done that, we can test and see what our results are. So I'll click play. As you see, he's walking around, normal. And then we click attack, you see it? He's attacking and running at the same time. So this is where he's using the mask and the blending and the layer to kind of combine the two animations together where you've got the upper half doing one thing and then the lower half doing another thing both simultaneously and again you can use this for a variety of things you can use this for for example when you want to aim you can do use blend spaces um, so that you can look up or look down look left or right when you're aiming so it's, it's, it's very convenient and it's very easy to use as you can see I, I made it very quickly so I, I hope this video helps. Um, if you would like more, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any feedback, because this is still very new to me, um, I'm just uh, making these videos sort of to refresh my memory and to help other people that are also looking for similar things. So if you have any feedback, anything you want to see, just please let me know uh, in the comment section. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.